playing uh, regular Yuki's deck today. <laughs> regular Yuki uh, versus the doll. <laughs> the Duel Master doll from the anime original uh, duel. <laughs> so we're going to try that out. <laughs> uh, I went over this. The There's a spread. Uh, I went over the uh, deck last episode, uh, so uh, watch that if you want to see what, what I'm running with, or check the uh, description, I'll copy and paste the deck. Um, yeah, let's get into it, we'll see what we, uh, we get a victory. <laughs> oh boy. The, the, uh, oh, I swapped over to the Dark Magician Mate, well I had to buy the Dark Magician Mate, <laughs> but uh, yeah, because uh, first first time we see Yi Yi running the Dark Magician. Ooh, we're going first. Oh, I don't like that. Um, well, maybe we have the opportunity to... Oh! Oh, it's someone else? We got an extra deck. This may be good for us. Okay, let's see. Uh, this is our best defender. Let's set... Let's see. Sometimes... Uh, yeah. We have uh, people that don't have an extra deck. So, it goes, if, if they also set, are we going to try to attack over what they set? We could tribute for Hercules Beetle, but I think we'll, if they set, we've got to go on the offensive. I'll tribute for uh, Jack's Knight. We'll bring out that. Okay, let's see. Ooh, a 2,000 attack monster. That is a problem for us. Dang. And they have the Warner of the Unicorn. This is not going to go good for us. And just with that, they can defeat anything we have in our deck. So, our only hope is that somehow we get... Wow, so much power. <laughs> somehow, as I'm saying, uh, somehow we get a... Um, we get a monster in the grave. They From their grave. Uh... That either has an effect that it can destroy a monster, or uh, holy guacamole! I'm going ham. <laughs> yeah, I, I saw another deck that was like this. I wonder what the play is here. Wow, <laughs> so many. Uh... Yeah, it was it was another? I think they were running like, uh, oh, what's that? Insect Knight? And they were just equipping it with a bunch of equip cards. I don't know what the uh, the play is here. Is this some type of? I don't know. Weird. All right. Well. That's uh, yeah. They got us. Wow. Well, we can survive one more turn, hopefully. Well, I have at least, at least two turns. So, um, uh, best defender. Wow, Petite Angel's got defense. Let's throw Petite Angel down and end our turn. So I, I, I don't really know what the. Uh, I guess maybe they run normal monsters so they can run Unexpected Die, which is a uh, card that can special summon a uh, normal monster from the deck. Um, yeah, but it's, they usually run those and they usually have an extra deck when they run things like that. Alright, so... Hmm. Weird. So... I don't even think we can go for a deck out here. It's 34, we have 35, so yeah. Since we're going first, we have a... Uh, unfortunately, uh, doesn't look like we're gonna be able to go for a deck out either. Hmm. Unless they play like, uh, well they can't even play Golden Bamboo Sword because they... <laughs> that's like one of those equip cards that lets you draw cards. But you have to like, there's an equip card and then there's like a normal spell that lets you draw cards. It's a whole 
draw engine based around equips. It's pretty cool. Alright. Meet a bat next turn? We can't play any of these. And we wouldn't want to. So they, uh. Just putting it. Yeah, let's do meet a bat. Basically, they're going to be waiting until they draw a card. A monster. Like, even up until this point, it wouldn't have been mattered that they equipped all that to uh, equip spells. But now that we have one of our monsters, Mystic Elf, that would have been a good defender if they didn't have all these equip spells on their monster. Uh... There's still there's still a way we can win this. Um, uh, they they could get too many cards in their hand, have to discard a, a monster they couldn't play, and th then we draw Monster Reborn, and we reborn that monster to our side of the field, and use its effect or something to destroy their monster. It's not it's not crazy. Hmm. Kinda wanna look at this deck after as well. It's a weird, weird deck. Alright. Ugh. Unfortunately, we're gonna have to set one of our, be our best attackers. Hopefully, our sixth best card, seventh best card in the deck. What, 1500 attack with no tribute? That's crazy. That's so powerful. Yuki actually uses this card in the duel. I forgot to mention uh, that. <laughs> uh, it gets. What, how does it get wiped? I can't remember. Oh, there we go. Okay, I was waiting for them to summon another monster. We'll see if they attack lowest to highest. If they do, then us saving this uh, Mystic Elf would be worth it. But if they don't, well, maybe they'll attack lowest to highest next turn. Taking a long time to think. If they're playing a deck like ours, there's not a lot of uh, things they can do on their turn. Uh, this, this is a, a pretty simplified game state that I can't really talk about. This is what we played so far. <laughs> Bunch of vanillas. Ooh, oh, that's interesting. So they, they set a card here that can most likely a trap or something, but what's interesting about that is now they can't play any more spells and traps. <laughs> Rescue rabbit, cute. <laughs> Alright, so our play this turn is going to be to set Mystic Elf, hopefully they they didn't they didn't attack in lows to highest, but hopefully they will. Um, and Mystic Alpha will protect our life points for another turn. All right. Well, they have a activation on step. I wonder what it can be. Ha! <laughs> Lol, Kunai with chain. <laughs> wow, it's such a big boy. <laughs> uh, yeah. Our our only play next turn is to play Unicycler. Uh, so we'll be doing that.
is there really no thought that has to go into this? I don't know. Well, if they have a monster in hand, they have a monster in hand. If they don't, then I don't know what they're thinking about. This could also be a bot. There's a very good chance that this is a bot. The weird name like that. Yeah. But usually bot bots are running uh, self uh, TK decks. You know? Self turn kill. Yeah. So there's a, there's a chance that there's a I I the longer this game goes on, the higher chance I'm thinking this is a bot. <laughs> All right, so what are we looking for? Well, ouch. It's gonna be a slow one. Uh, let's see, what else is interesting? Uh, I can talk about the episode that this deck is based on. <laughs> so the, yeah, the episode, um, Kaiba, I don't even think it's Kaiba that shows up, it's just like, Somebody from Kaiba Corp shows up, and uh, they are like, uh, "Hey, uh, Dollman, come work for for us. <laughs> we're, we're calling on you, Game Master Dollman." <laughs> uh, and uh, they they show up, and they, they the helicopter comes down and just like destroys his little tea party setup, and, uh, like breaks all of his dolls. I'm like, well. Why? <laughs> I guess just to show that he's bad, but Kaiba's worse. You know, <laughs> these Kaiba Corp flunkies don't care about anybody. Hmm. Yeah, it's slow going. Oh, music change. Ah, okay. Well. I think it's music changed because it, it was technically could be legal. Alright, well, now we have to hope that if we don't draw a, a summonable monster next turn, uh, we're uh, done and dusted. Hmm. Pick peek? No. Oof. Well, we'll let them make the attack. Yeah, and that is the downside to running so many. Well, in the in the actual game, the uh, the what's it called the stars uh, you could summon any level of stars. It's just that at the end of the game, whoever had the uh, uh, most amount of stars uh, of their opponents defeated monsters. So you check the, the graveyard of your opponent, and uh, whoever had the most uh, no uh, like whoever had the most stars in their graveyard was the loser. Or if you had the mo if you had defeated the most number of stars of your opponent's monsters, then you were the winner. So it's uh yeah, and originally it was more of like a war thing. You play a monster, the other person plays a monster. And they had like field effects. Um so if you played a monster on a certain field it would get a certain effect. Which was pretty cool. Ooh. Yeah, unlikely we're gonna be able to defeat that deck unfortunately. Dang, can't even defeat the bots at this level. <laughs> All right, well I'm gonna I'm gonna cut here and we. Uh, well, let's let's check let's check the uh, let's check the deck. Uh, uh, let's take a peek. Yeah, this seems like a bot deck. Oh, what's this thing? It has an effect. Each time Jar of Greed is activated, draw one card. Dang. Yeah, we got rolled, unfortunately. Yeah. Oh, uh, we can we can also check. Where is this guy? This guy? Yeah, they're running the same deck. So, uh, most likely a block deck. Dang. Can't even beat the bots at this level. Alright. And I cut here and then I'll cut back in for uh, in the next episode with this deck.
All right, you know what it is. Anime versus Master Duel. Well, <laughs> let's get into it. Dark Yuki, uh, well, not Dark Yuki, just regular Yuki's deck used against the doll, Be beautiful doll woman. Uh, let's go second so we get our card draw. Then we can see what they play as well. Lots of people playing the festival right now, so. No, but this one, this person's got an extra deck. Maybe not a lot. Alright, uh, we don't really have a play going second. Unless they have like a weak monster, then we might be able to beat over it with our Dark King of the Abyss. But we need that card draw. Oh! Hmm. What are they playing? Do we match with a defensive monster as well? Or do we go in? Again, I don't want to give away too much. If I could somehow set up two defense monsters, then that would be worth it. Because then I could bring out our Dark Magician. Okay. Let's see. Alright. Basic Insect, don't fail me now. Alright. We'll see. We'll see what they want. Maybe their uh, hand is all gumped up. <laughs> Ouch! Dang! They destroy our basic insect. It was a, it was a ploy. Ooh, usage rate very low. What's this thing? War rocks. Okay. Is this war rocks? It seems. Ooh, this might be a mascus thing. Uh, I'm gonna just quickly read this effect. Uh, let's see. Oh. Well. Well. My game freeze? Oh no, I'm gonna DQ? <laughs> That's no good. Uh, okay, whew. Jeez. Stress. Stress of playing on Wi-Fi, let me tell you. Alright, let's take a peek here. If an Earth Warrior monster is normal summoned to your side of the field, you can special summon this card from your... Okay, they didn't do that. If this card is sent from your monster's dungeon gave by a card, it's card effect, you can special them like... So they were hoping that we'd pop it with a card effect, so they'd be able to search out a war rock. Okay. And this one, if you banish a junk monster, it gets stronger. Okay, um, we really don't have anything to do. Might as well just set up our weakest guy. And end our turn. Still sort of winnable for us. We can we can beat over these guys right now. Um, we need... Can we live long enough, though? <laughs> That's the question. Uh, ooh. Very low usage rate on this guy as well. Ancient Warrior. Control out Ancient Warrior's opponent's monster and trigger the start of attack. You get one of those groups of the following effects. Ancient Warrior. You can send one card in hand. Have an Ancient Warrior to protect your sweeping. This definitely feels like a massive deck. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Oof, not gonna not gonna save us. Uh Let's uh, set me to that. Call it a day. Call it a day. Cool deck. I must be just starting the Masochist run. Yeah, see, the problem with Masochist runs, they just start too easy. <laughs> can't, can't be accused of feeding. Very cool, very cool. Let's check out the deck. I like I like looking at Masochist decks. Uh, shake your head at me. Oh yeah. Wow. 
We have some good cards in here. We got some one ofs. Yeah, but they weren't able to draw their tuners. Yeah, very cool, very cool. Yeah, so this um, this is a masochist deck. Um, basically, they're they're opening opening master packs and uh, just playing with whatever they pull out of those master packs. Pull from the entire game's uh, library, so it's just a hodgepodge of all these different cards. And uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're. Uh, but they're they're usable. They have they have tuners. They have synchros. They got they got some synchro plays and stuff. I don't know who would who would who'd be the best guy. I don't know. This guy, <laughs> he looks really good, but I don't know how many synchro plays there's gonna be making with TG Hyper Librarian. <laughs> All right. Well, that's it for this episode. On to next. <laughs> we're we're playing still playing regular Yuki's deck used against the uh, doll uh, the doll <laughs> the nurse doll okay my bets this person's uh, playing blue eyes <laughs> oh actually they had the sword soul maybe they're playing sword soul uh, what is this? Is that? I don't even know what that card back is. Oh. Oh, they're playing super heavy. Why well, don't we have one of the cards of our combo? Huh. Okay, so. Super heavy. I'd, I only know super heavy from Duel Links, but I know that it was like an extremely toxic deck in the TCG and they had to like ban and limit things really quickly uh, I think because of these uh, new um, pendulum monsters uh, yeah basically uh, the deck is all monster types all monster types uh, no <laughs> oh win rate 50% <laughs> that's crazy uh, I bet like that. So right now they brought a, a big guy and a tuner, and they're going to use this guy to just search out another card. They haven't. They haven't uh, even. Uh, uh, the card they searched out is this guy also a searcher? Yeah, you can special summon from the deck, but I think is the other guy a tuner? Let's see. Yeah, it is a tuner. So they they, they weren't using any of the effects. They're just using it as a uh, four plus a five. They're going into a nine. What could, what nine can they be going into? I don't even know what a good nine is. I should know. Mm, maybe that like dragon tank. So in our turn, uh, if we draw uh, Monster Reborn, we'll have a lot of good targets because they're sending a lot to Grave right now. <sighs> but will they be able to... Uh... Okay, this is annoying. Okay, I won't bring up the big one. Oh, what? Oh no, connection failure. Uh, I don't know. Wi-Fi's bad. Wi-Fi's bad. That's that's not good. Well, maybe I'll maybe I'll move uh, get, haul over the Ethernet <laughs> and see if I can get the connection a bit better. All right. Well, that's disappointing. That's very disappointing. Sorry, maybe I might even cut this this one. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, my connection is not connection fail. Let's take a peek at the the deck either way. 
let's try to read this card's effect. So let's just, uh, oh yeah, looks like they're writing a lot of swords and stuff. Well, this was more Sword Soul. Huh? They were just using a bit of Super Heavy Samurai. But it was mostly Sword Soul. Oh, this is an annoying card. Cool. Yeah, it's mostly a Sword Soul deck. Okay. Lol. Uh, let's see, what, where, where was the thing they made? What is this thing? Uh Oh, it's it's a it's a boss monster for the um Yang Zing monsters. Uh Yeah. It's uh yeah, boss monster special summons a worm if it destroys. Oops. Special summons a worm if it destroys. It searches a tuner if it is destroyed. Or battle a card effect. And yeah, uh, it, yeah, you can search out attributes, the things that are destroyed. Pretty cool card. Um, and you can't activate effects of ones that match worms. So uh, use for its single song. So that's Yang Zing monsters specifically. So. Yeah, pretty pretty cool. Shuts down some stuff. Ah, wish I could have played against it. Oh well. Next episode then. Well, previous episode I had a uh, <laughs> uh, DQ. Uh, disconnect. Disqualified. No, I wasn't disqualified. I was just disconnected. But by being disconnected, I was also disqualified. Uh, we're gonna go second here and hope for that card draw. could be running. Uh, Dragon Maid, World Chalice. Oh, they're using um, this deck. What does this deck like to do? I really don't know too much about this deck actually. <laughs> I've played it so many times, uh, but there's just, they got so, such wordy cards. Um, is this, this is just Demonic? Dogmatica? So many cards. Okay, they, they sent. Uh, okay, so they sent uh, a monster from their extra deck uh, to add a Dogmatica. Oh. Alright, I, ha I have to go through with the special summon. I think I need to move this card. Right, End phase, so this card seems to look something this turn you can add to, you can add to your hand or special summon one Spriggan's monster or one form of combats in your deck. And they decide to special summon Spriggan's. If you have a monster, a fusion monster, mention, they don't have that. Uh, that's only special summon conditions. If this card is normal special summon, you can add to your hand a branded card and they're going to add it branded of the high in the high spirit I believe reveal one monster in hand and send one level eight fusion monster from your extra deck to the graveyard with the same type um this card whoop and they get apply the effect discard the revealed monster and if you do add one fall of Albaz monster there's the final of Albaz monster Put it back to your hand. During the end phase of this fusion fusion monster was sent in the graveyard this turn, you can add this card from the graveyard to your hand. Uh, they can't use that this turn because they already used the other effect. Okay, uh, let's see. Can we beat over any of this stuff? Well, we have a, we have a defensive play. At least. 
let's take a peek. Uh, we looked at this one already. Let's see this one. It's Dogmatica and Despia. Wow. Okay. No. Uh, let's see. We can actually just put this up because we don't have to look at field. Now we're supposed to summon you can send one for Albez with one card that mentions it for deck to decay. If this card leaves the f extra deck, if a card leaves the extra deck, uh, you can target one for Albez and one monster mention Great Wave. Special summon it. Oh, that is quite powerful. Uh, yeah, this is the one they searched out. If you control form Albaz, they don't. Or is in your radar? You can special summon this card from your hand during the main phase. Uh, quick effect, you can fusion summon it. In. Ah, I see. They're, this is, they're going for a fusion summon. Uh, so, I don't like that they're going for a fusion summon. I will. Ah. I'm gonna just hope for the best. I'm gonna set this. Do we know what else they added to their hand? Just looking. Yeah, they added that spell. Let's go to NTA phase here. Not wasting all their time. Just reading all their effects. Yeah, it doesn't look like we know everything they added to hand. Yeah, but the things they added to hand were this guy. Guy? <laughs> we just call everything guy. Gal. This gal, Cartesia. And they uh, also added the spell to hand. Got some chains going on. So right now they're gonna special summon a monster because they sent a fusion monster. Oh, they do have fallen albas in their grave, of course they do. And they special summon fallen albas. I think they get to. Now how about with special summon? You can discard one fusion. Or one card fusion summon so they I think they can also fusion summon right now but I'm not sure oh no they're using this card now the fusion summon ah this is their boss monster finish a rank number 15 still kicking it uh, they searched out jester um and now this this card has a quick effect that they can uh, send a fusion uh, monster uh, from the extra deck to the graveyard to banish the card. So they can banish Mystic Elf, and we can actually check right now. They do have lethal if they choose to do that. We'll see if they play it cautiously though. Uh, so yeah, this is uh, this is it's uh. Named after that dude. <laughs> Brandon? Brandon Despia? Um, this was the one. Set to Graveyard Banish by blah blah blah. blah. Banish this card from the Can see what the effect they used last time? Ah, uh, yeah. So they, it was sent, so they were able to search out the Joker. No. Joker? Jester. I'm the Joker, baby. Usage rate 16%. Interesting. Uh, they were able to search out the Jester using that card. The Jester allows them to get branded fusion, which is... Uh, allows them to send monsters from the deck to fusion stuff instead of the hand, which is pretty crazy. Uh, Alright, they uh, just summon this one. You know this one. If it's not a special summon, you, uh, uh, to your hand, one of your branded spells and traps. So... And, uh... What's this go? Activation card effects. Fusion summon. Oh, they're they're playing it cautiously. Nice, we get to move it. If 
Lucky if you got some fusion moss you can add one corner all that so as you can deck turn here. Nice. So they're probably gonna go for fusion summon and then Well, why would they want to? They can fusion summon during our turn. Okay, so they're just they're just being cautious. Oh yeah, we knew about this. They're gonna add that back to their hand now. Uh, that was effect from last last turn. And they can't activate it now. So that that effect won't come up until the beginning of their next turn, so we don't really have to worry about it. Do we have a play? We do. We can get rid of that defensive monster. Can we? Alright, let's see if we can we can get rid of one monster this time. Did you control find during during the main phase? Ah, right. They still have um, Cartesia, so we can't get rid of it because they'd just be able to send. Alright. Um and also they also have energy. So definitely not. Alright. Let's just set and pass. So they had uh, what what I'm saying they can't do it because this one will be able to uh, banish banish the monster on the field. Um, and this one will also be able to uh, fusion summon, so that's what they're doing right now. Ooh, I could I could have baited out the fusion summon actually. Huh. I would have gotten rid of the guy anyway. Because <laughs> you can see, because I could have continued my main phase, baited out the fusion summon. Uh, now this is one I haven't seen too much of. Let's see. Attack of all monsters currently on the level zero. So yeah, this was basically oh whoops, sorry, sorry, sorry. This basically blanks um, monsters attacks, except for uh, level eight or higher fusion monsters, and then it floats into something else. Uh, meaning that floating means like when, when it's destroyed, uh, something they, they bring something else onto the field. Uh, one variable and prey counter on it is level 2 or higher. Oh, and they can negate a monster effect with this one. So, banish monster, negate a monster effect, uh, make a monster's attack zero. So, uh, yeah. Oof. Rough. We got wrecked. But we didn't get to disconnect them, so that's good. Alright. Uh, I think we kind of went over that deck. I'll just pop the deck up on screen if anyone likes that deck. They can uh, maybe uh, copy it or something. But you can you can see what, what you can do with a little bit of setup with that deck. Um, let's see. Speak. Wow. So many cards limited. <laughs> you can tell this was a powerful deck back in the day <laughs> because uh, so many cards have like are, uh, got the ones and the twos on it. So this is uh, branded Despia with uh, what, what was it? Bestial engine as well. <laughs> they got everything. They just throw on everything in here. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right. Uh -huh. See ya on the next one. All right. After a disconnect and a not so great game against Brandon Despia, we're back at it. <laughs> Let's see if we can uh, get that one win we need. <laughs> I wonder if they're running Blue Eyes. <laughs> we literally can't beat Blue Eyes. Well, we can maybe with a ah a second. So we always have hope. We always have hope of the one monster we have.
Well, we have a pretty decent hand right now. Oh, they are running blue eyes. Oof. Okay. Uh. Lol. Okay. Well, <laughs> we've, drawn, we've drawn half of the spells that are in our deck. Uh, let's hold on to these so they think we still have options. Um, let's let's set this one so maybe they will waste the pop off of uh, Blue Eyes alternative. Uh, I, went, I went through the whole deck profile so you guys should know this one. Uh, so once per turn they can target uh, one monster uh, all, your opponent controls so one of our monsters and destroy it but they don't get to attack that turn. So oh good they wasted it. So they don't get to attack so now they'll feel uh, uh th this this when a monster on the field is destroyed they get to special summon it it um since there isn't a um oh oh it is it is a blue eyes white dragon oh what's this Wait a Okay, wait. <laughs> okay, that was a, that's an interesting play. Did they normal summon? They did tribute summon this monster. So this one, they are going to be adding either a level eight monster or a. Um... Oh no, they are going to be adding a level eight uh, dragon monster. Uh, probably another jet. Wait. What they reveal- they had to reveal a blue eyes so we know one of the cards in hand is blue eyes. Yeah. So we know two of the cards in hand now. We know blue eyes and we know that they are running Abyss Dragon in hand. So... Wait, isn't that the same one as this? Oh, so they, they grabbed another one. Nice. Alright, well... Uh... <laughs> spend them if you got them, I guess. Ha! Take that, fool. Think that's bad? Take another one. Alright, well, the best defense. Now all they have to do is attack, and I think they can pop our guy back to the hand. So I thought, that's why I was like, oh, interesting. Interesting. Oh, I, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not crazy. <laughs> uh, I think this, uh, I think this guy still gets his effect. The start of the damage set, this card battles, card one card. So they can return a card we control to the hand. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. <laughs> wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> what? <laughs> we, uh, uh, I don't know. Okay, wait, let's 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 be smart about this. Let's be smart about this. Okay. But we're back, baby. We're back. We're so back. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh what? Okay. Uh Okay. Okay, so where did they add? They added that. Where did they add? They added a jet. They added a jet. Yes. Um. Okay. Okay. Uh. Yeah. And this only. I think. I think I got it. I think I got it. Here. See if this works. This one doesn't count as blue eyes, right? Alright, awesome. Okay. Alright, we could destroy Jet and they won't be able to um Well might as well destroy this card again. Oh my gosh, I'm an idiot. Alright, whatever. 
Ah, uh, I. Oh my gosh, I'm an idiot. Oh, I freaking did it. Stupid Jet. <laughs> oh man, Jet has the stupid. Uh, oh no. No! Oh, I had a play! <laughs> I wasted it! Currency control cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects! I wasted it! I should have freaking. I had the play! I had the freaking play! Oh, no! So embarrassing! How embarrassing is that? How embarrassing is that? Oh my gosh, I had a play! I had a play, guys! Ah, oh, I was so in. Ah. Oh. I'd never look worse. I've never looked worse. Ah, <laughs> oh, Jet Dragon, your silly first line of text. Ah. Oh. I read everything twice and then I forgot the freaking Jet Dragon. Uh Well, 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 uh well, I'll show off the deck anyway. You guys can see the uh, blue eyes deck that beat me. Ah, it's very similar to the other deck, but they have a better extra deck. They could, they could go with, I don't know, maybe just one of each of those is fine. All right, oh, next episode. Next episode. <laughs> next episode, I won't drop my plays like that. I'm dropping a play against. Jet Dragon because I didn't read the first line of text. Ugh. Never again. <laughs> well, we'll we'll see. This is uh, they're running something. These guys. Uh, are we going first or second? I, I can't remember. All right, they're going first. Um, oh wow, we got we got our card. Lol. Okay. A single trap. I think we have to go in at this point. Alright, let's bring our best attacker and swing. Best attacker. Alright, that's it. We still have Monster Reborn, so this isn't this isn't the end of the world for us. All right. Oh, they're running some type of stun thing. Oh no. Oh no. Neither player can special summon monsters. Ah. Uh, well, and just like that, we're 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 done ski. I don't think there's any way we can beat over this guy. We have no spell and trap removal either, so we are done. So this is uh We'll have to uh keep going. We gotta keep going. I wanna I wanna see this is a uh, oh I should explain what's going on here. So this is a stun deck. Um this this monster makes it so we can't special summon. Uh, they have two set cards which most likely will deal with special summon monsters. This, every time they attack, it increases their attack and defense by 500. And instead of being destroyed by battle, you can they will just be removing counters from this card. So it's basically impossible for our deck to beat this guy. Now that, now that he's gotten this big, it's literally impossible. Ooh, new card. Oh, it's level 5, I can't summon it. <laughs> Worse card than Trent. Okay. We'll play it out, we'll play it out. I want to see... 
what stun does in this situation. Because usually they... What's their win condition? Jet Dragon. You, you, you gotta watch the previous uh, previous part. Alright, well we got one defender. I was hoping to save this until they had two monsters, but that's it. Uh, can I attack directly? Not really. What's going on here? Uh, so, ah, nice. We did summon a monster. <laughs> oh, this is another extremely annoying card. Uh, Bowser Pointer's monster. So it it always attacks over our monsters. Oof. Okay, I think that's a uh, we're dead next turn no matter what we play. Let's play it out. Let's play it out. Do we do we draw a card that we can summon? Look at all our beautiful tribute monsters. We do. Thank you, Half Fish Man, the Furious Sea King. There we go. So, oh yeah, I should should bring up this effect. So yeah, uh, whenever they battle, they gain uh, attack equal to the attack and defense. Attack or defense, whichever is higher, plus 100. So they just always can beat your monster in battle. It's it's rough. It's a very rough card. And that is game. Dang, can't even beat stun. Alright, let's try to see what the two set cards they had were. Uh, Alright, let's take a peek. Uh, oh yeah, probably... Maybe Solemn? Nah, probably uh, evenly, evenly matched. Oh no, it wouldn't have been evenly matched. It's probably uh, you know dimension wall, magic cylinder, one of these ones. Yeah, so the stun decks they uh, they have cards like this and this that don't allow uh, special summoning. And what they want to do is just set it up and cards like this that the monsters they control can't be defeated in battle and they just hope for the best and uh, hope that uh, whatever they can do can beat over you. Alright, on to the next. I should have known. <laughs> Little Yuki's deck can't stand up to big Yuki's power. You know? Little Yuki. It's just much worse. I think this deck is slightly worse. It has one less summon skull in it. <laughs> and one less uh excuse me. One less uh Mystic Elf. And uh has uh way more tribute monsters in it. I think this deck is worse than the previous deck. We get such crazy good cards as Rock Gun or uh, Unicycler. Oh, it's us? Oh no, don't tell us. Yeah, we, don't, we don't get any draw. Okay. Um, 
Let's set our best defense. Yeah. We we have we have a play. We have. We're drawing Monster Reborn a lot more now, which is good. We didn't used to draw it at all, but. So, we can hope our opponent does something crazy, and then we can Monster Reborn something for our play. Oh, nothing. Okay, well, we finally get to tribute summon a monster. And I think we will definitely tribute summon a monster. Okay. Behold, my Neon Knight. My Neo Knight. All right, we're not going to use the monster reborn on that little thing. We're gonna keep it. Okay. Now we're starting to set up damage. We'll see what they do against us. I've got I got a full hand of cards. It could really be anything. End phase. Wait a second. Oh, they couldn't beat over our guy with Blade Knight. How interesting. I don't... What is this deck doing? <laughs> well, whatever they're doing, I gotta, I gotta, I can't, <laughs> can't not just attack them a bunch. Okay. Alright. Wasn't... Wasn't worth to reborn that. But now that is, uh, oh, I should talk about Blade Knight. So it gains 400 attack when we have less, one or fewer cards in the hand. So we can technically, we can technically beat over it. If we're very lucky. Is that it? I think that's it. Uh... They didn't play Smashing Ground? What is going on? Why didn't they play Smashing Ground? Just are they just trying to give us a win? Alright, let me see. I don't want to overcommit. We got exactly 3,000. Um Let's We don't have anything set. Let's go for it. Wow, that's game. I was just saying how bad Yuki's deck was, but <laughs> I got I just got the achievement for tribute summoning twenty times. <laughs> oh my gosh, we, we did it. I I don't know. I don't know. I I, I really don't know. Let's see. What, Let's see what their deck is. I, that looked like a masochist deck. What's this? You know, I, I, I unfortunately can't read the kanji. Oh no, it wasn't a masochist deck. They were... Is this like a starter deck? This looks like a starter deck. Like a mash of three starter decks? Something like that. Uh, non-normal monster. Could they just not beat over us? But they could have just set this. And also, they definitely could have. They had Smashing Ground. I don't know what happened. They were they're they're going they're they're basically a better version of our deck. They have a bunch of normal monsters. They've got this guy who boosts up non-effect monsters attack by 500. Um, they got unexpected die to bring out normal monsters. They can uh, sync or summon this guy pretty easily with using unexpected die. They've got some spot removal for attack and defense position monsters. There's also this removal. Uh, attack monster, you can do damage on monster. So yeah, they, they, they can... 
they can get monsters. Uh, get, get our monsters. Yeah, much better version of our deck. Very simple deck. Very simple and clean, but... <laughs> yeah, uh, the edit for this one's going to be very interesting. Alright, well, thus concludes the adventures of Young Yugi and the Nurse Doll. <laughs> uh, next, uh, we're going to be the the uh, Dark Yugi versus the Doll Master, and we're going to be running that deck. So... Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna have more spells. One of the spell cards is Roar. <laughs> I and I think yeah, the spell card is Roar, and what it does is it destroys all dull monsters. So I'm gonna have to fi figure out maybe maybe I'll substitute Acid Rain, which destroys all machines. That kind of makes sense. All right, well, see you on the next episode, which will be a deck over. Alright. Adios. Square Field and Black Scorpion, the Kogiki. The Crab Ogro, the Chief of the Wolf.